Friends of the Lexington Senior Center are honoring Lexington luminaries for their decades of commitment to our society, to our community. And today I'm so honored to be here with Mr. PG Peoples Sr. Thank you so much for my being pleasure, here. My pleasure, I'm honored. And you know what? You should be, the, it's an award for Lexington luminaries and you are one of the best of the best. <laughs> <laughs> wow, 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 that is amazing. <laughs> I, to, to wear that kind of honor. Well, you know what? You've done so much for our community. And speaking of which, you are the president and CEO of the Urban, Urban League, League yeah. of Lexington Fayette County. Yes, yes. So let's get right into this. You joined when it first started, right? I did. I, I graduated from college in the UK in 68, 69, mm -hmm. and the, the Urban League opened in, yes. in 69. Yeah. And your, the story of being the right place at the right time. Yeah. I was living at the YMCA my last semester in college. Uh -huh. And <clears throat> the first office for the Urban League was in the YMCA. And uh -huh. I introduced myself to Mr. Brown, mm -hmm. who was the first uh, uh, executive director. And 54 years later, the rest <laughs> is history. <laughs> yes, it is. But you know what? There was a lot of work involved with that <laughs> 54 years. You know. Um, Something that was really important to you is affordable housing. Absolutely. Yeah, so let's talk about this. Why is affordable housing so important to you and close to your heart? Because, um, you yeah, I think about people who, who, who work hard and try to uh, get housing and who really want to be able to have housing for their families. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And um, these people, deserve an opportunity mm -hmm. to um, to get affordable housing and unless we focus and design programs mm -hmm. to give them opportunities mm -hmm. the regular marketplace is not gonna be yes. kind to them. Yes. We said we wanted to help people and we wanted to still train and help our, our, our constituents. Yes. So in addition to building houses mm -hmm. and, and selling them to first time home buyers, we also were training ex inmates oh, wow. coming from prison. Uh huh. And then helping them get jobs through this training program. Get back on there. Yes, yes. That's second incredible. chances. Yes, absolutely. We all deserve second chances. Yes, we do. You know, um also I wanted to talk about too, what do you think was your inspiration for wanting to give back to community. Not everybody has that, but you've got it. And what do you think was that inspiration for you? Um, because I was blessed to have so much given to me. Mm -hmm. And to much is given, much is expected. Ah, that's, that's incredible. And also, what would you say you would like your legacy to be one day? Um, that I worked hard at what I did, uh -huh. that I humbly went about my work, mm -hmm. and that um, I left uh, trails for other people to follow. Oh, I love that, I love that. Well, PG, thank you so much for your service. <laughs> Congratulations on your award, it's so well-deserved. It's oh, such a pleasure you. talking thank to you. Oh, thank you, thank you so much.